What's particular about Etiva is that it's a cheese only made in summer. Besides, it carries the name of its origins. Etiva is a region of summer pastures, so it is a cheese that has always been made only in summer. It's been part of the local milk processing culture for generations. Throughout our history, cattle have been taken to the mountain pastures in summer and milk has been transformed into cheese. The livestock feeds exclusively on the natural grasslands of the geographical area where Etiva PDO is produced. It is the rich floral profile of these pastures that gives such a rich taste to milk, cream, butter and cheese. We have a wonderful floral profile. We really have gardens on these mountains. This has been scientifically demonstrated. We have cheeses that are very rich for the senses. This you cannot find in pasteurized cheeses and with cows that have consumed standard grass fodder. Depending on the mountain pasture, how it is exposed on the windward or leeward side and also on the flora, the taste and the appearance of cheese can change. Cows in summer only have grass, with precisely this very specific flora, which is richer in omega-3. The history of Etiva PDO cheese is inseparable from the history of the Vallée du Pays d'Aon, a region with a remarkable architectural and historical heritage. Attached to the county of Gruyere until 1555, the Pays d'en Haut was then dominated by the Bernese and became Vaux in 1803. In this valley, men and women have exercised and maintained agriculture and craftsmanship in accordance with local traditions and resources. A cheese is made here that has closely resembled Etiva since the 15th century, and one did not wait for the development of modern means of transport to export cheese beyond the limits of the production region. In the 18th century, cheese was already marketed beyond the limits of its region of production. It was carried through the Jamon Pass and down to the markets of Vevey. It was then loaded onto boats that traveled down to Marseille. One might think that it started in the 16th or 17th century, but it's really during the 18th century that a very flourishing trade started and made our Alpine economy prosper. A symbol of this prosperity, the Grand Chalet de Rossignere, better known today as Grand Chalet Balthus, named after its last owner. The Grand Chalet de Rossignere was built in 1754 to house huge cellars for maturing cheese. The owner of this large chalet in Rossignere was Jean-David Anchot a court clerk who had become rich, particularly through cheese trade, and who wanted to build a cheese cellar to house 600 wheels of cheese. This determined the basic size of the Grand Chalet. As carpenters would work in proportion, they started from this huge 30 by 15 meter base and stacked these beams and all these different pieces on top of one another until they achieved this enormous building. To organize the maturing of the cheese and decide how to market it, the producers of Etiva PDO formed an association in 1932 and then a cooperative in 1974. The vision and commitment of the elders was very important. When they meet again, the former presidents always enjoy exchanging ideas and talking about the progress they have made. The producers of Etiva PDO have always taken their destiny into their own hands. Over the decades, they have built and expanded their cellars. Autonomous, they decide how they want to develop their method of working. The importance of our cooperative is also its democratic aspect. Each decision is made by the General Assembly and each member has one vote, regardless of the quantity of cheese they produce. And all decisions are made by a majority of members present at the General Assembly. It's really this notion of sharing which has worked well until now and which should continue to work for a long time.
It gives me great pleasure to see that we wanted to create something and then that it has developed and is valuable. It is precisely that which allows young people who have this innate passion and have it in their very nature to be able to continue. They have been given a skill set that is developing and that they want to develop. What makes us happy today are families working in the mountain pastures. Everything is done by the family, whereas in the old days of mountain pastures, it was a man's business.